My name is David Kerrigan. I'm a clinical case manager and director of digital marketing for the O'Connor Professional Group. Coaching clients on the autism spectrum is an amazingly unique and rewarding experience. Each individual having to navigate life with ASD have their own unique experiences, strengths, and areas for growth. So no two cases are ever the same, but that doesn't mean that there's typical themes that we don't see pop up in a lot of the cases that we work with ASD. So that means that coaching services at their core look to recognize these unique areas of strength while also working towards and recognizing and addressing the unique areas of growth. Often this takes on the form of working with clients on things like distrust tolerance skills, executive functioning and organizational support, interpersonal and social skills development, as well as educational and vocational support when needed. And this is work that takes place in the home and in the community that the individual is living in. And this is to allow them to learn how to utilize those skills in the environment that they're in their most. It really aims to take what an individual is doing in the therapy room and help them apply that to their everyday life. Now, the level of support that each client needs is individual to them. So that means that one client might just need weekly as needed check-ins while another client at a certain time might mean intensive daily in-home support. There's no really typical case for someone with ASD as each is so unique, but there are themes that we see throughout them. So the following is really a hypothetical example of how OPG would come in and work with someone on the autism spectrum. So Daniel is an 18 year old young man living, living life with ASD and preparing to transition from his specialized high school program to a part-time transitional college program. Now, transitions are often really hard for those on the autism spectrum, and Daniel was no different from this. So Daniel was really struggling with emotional outbursts, emotional dysregulation, behavioral outbursts, perseverating thoughts around stress and anxiety, and really generally struggling as he is getting ready for this transition. This led the family to reach out to OPG, who was able to come in and do a consultation with the family and able to identify the gaps in Daniel's treatment in areas where they could provide additional support to help get him through this transition. In practicality, that really looked like Daniel working with an OPG case manager three times a week and really trying to learn distress tolerance skills, work on his executive functioning, work on preparing more for this transition and generally helping him work through the emotional strife that was coming with that decision. Additionally, this person was able to act as a liaison both between the family and the clinical team and Daniel to provide that everyone was working in, in lockstep. So as this program was put into place, Daniel continued to struggle at the onset. There was some behavioral outbursts, emotional dysregulation, but the OPG case manager was able to be there to be an integral part of the team, help with the stabilization effort, help be there in the moment in the community with Daniel to coach him through those things. And then after stabilization had been, help Daniel reflect back and learn from those episodes. With that level of support, Daniel was able to make the transition. Although it wasn't, you know, all straight line and, and a, com a completely successful thing, those challenges were overcome. And once Daniel was settled into his routine, his new routine, we were able to reduce OPG services to a maintenance level um, and really help Daniel face whatever challenges was to come next for him. Care coordination and crisis management are essential components of coaching services for those with the aut autism spectrum disorder. The unique individual needs of each person with ASD mean that any therapeutic team needs to be well coordinated and on the same page. This allows for a treatment team to be able to adjust, respond to any given situation from a good foundational standpoint. Often when working with clients on, on the autism spectrum, things can change at a moment's notice. Behavioral outbursts or emotional dysregulation are often common things that can come up out of the blue. So it's really imperative for a treatment team to have an ability to communicate not only with each other, but also with the, with the family. So that means when a family does go into crisis, there's that good foundation is already is already laid for communication where the team can respond proactively and be able to get the person the supports that they need. A huge component of OPG coaching is being able to provide that care coordination role, being able to give both a treatment team and a family the, the peace of mind that information is getting communicated. And if anything comes up, everybody knows the channels in which to go to for information.